Good morning, everyone. Michelle here. Uh, we're going to do a new workout. It is the sweat and shred workout. It is 10 exercises, and in between each exercise, we're either going to do a crisscross jack if you have a ball, or uh, just a regular jumping jack, and we're going to alternate between that and burpees with a push up because you know I love burpees. And um, we're going to do 10 rounds three times through. So we'll take a break after each 10, we'll towel off, get a drink, and then start the next. And if you're a beginner, you can stop after the first 10, or you can keep going if you're advanced and um, follow me through through all three rounds. Okay, let's get started. Oh, by the way, it's cold here. <laughs> I am in pants because it's like 58. So that's cold for me. Um, hopefully it'll warm up through the day. It's supposed to get into the high 70s, so we'll see. But let's get warmed up. You're going to set your timer for, um, it's going to be four, four different setups, just use, follow along with me. It's going to be a six second break, then you're going to do a 30 second, six second, and another 30 seconds. So it's 30 seconds of the exercise, six second break, and then 30 seconds of the cardio, whether it's jumping jacks, high knees, um, burpees, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do the crisscross jacks and then the burpees, alternating them, okay? In between, like one will be crisscross jacks, two will be um, burpees. So. Follow me. First one's going to be a T raise push up, okay? So you need a dumbbell for that. Oh, you don't need one, but if you have one uh, and you want to use it, you can. But you get a six second countdown, so let's get ready in the push up position. Now for your crisscross jacks. squat with a knee lift, side knee lift. Burpees with the push-up. with side raise. I should turn so you can see me holding a plank position. Abs are tight. Engage that core and side raise. If you need to, go down to your knees or come to your knees and stand. Jacks.
squat with alternating leg lift. Squat and lift out to the side. If you want to add weight, you can. I will on the next round. Just to show you, you can hold the bag or a ball. Burpees are next. One. Two. Three. Four. Sandbag shoulder press or dumbbells. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you don't have a ball, you can use a weight. Same thing. It's just the weight swings low when the legs go out and up when the legs come together. Dancing crabs next. I'm going to use the ball and show you. If you have a bench, you can use that. Drop down. Oh, maybe I won't be using the ball. Too wobbly. Okay, hands. Down. 
up, down, up. I'll set the bench up for the next one. One time through. Towel off, get a drink. If you're a beginner, you can stop there. If you want to go on, we're doing it two more times. Should be breathing hard. I'm going to get the bench set up. If you want to go lower for your triceps with the dip. If you don't have a bench, you can use a box, you can use a table, a chair, you know, like a little coffee table. Okay, T raises are first. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm sweating, I don't know about you.
big crisscross jacks are first. It's pouring off me now. with side raise. I'll turn so I'm this way. Out. Out. Engage that core. Okay, burpees. If you are a beginner, walk it out and then a push up and then up. Walk it out if you need to be on your knees. Okay? You don't have to do the jump. It's entirely up to you. Open that mouth and breathe. Your muscles 
cells need oxygen to grow and to work. Don't starve them. Plank toe tap. You don't have, if you don't have a ball, you can do it on the floor. Tap out, tap up. Tap out, tap up. Keep your back flat, your core engaged. Don't lift up. Stay straight. Straight as a board. Adding the ball just makes it a little more unstable and a little bit harder. Burpees. Crisscross jacks. Then we're going to do the dancing crab. Oh, this is a dip with a leg lift. Drag is next after the crisscross jacks. Almost done.
plank drag in a plank position. Bring that knee up. You're crunching that oblique, twisting that elbow to that knee. Burpees. It's raining. 
Crisscross jacks. squats to a stand. I'll turn the other way.
burpees are next. Curtsy lunge, squat with a reverse crossover lunge. If you want to challenge yourself more, you can do another round. If you're working hard, you should be breathing hard after that third round. We changed it up. Instead of doing 10 seconds in between, I only did six seconds. So you didn't get as long of a break, which is why your heart rate stayed up better. It's more of a cardio. That's why I called it the sweat and shred. Because you do that enough times with the right weight, and you're gonna get shredded. That one was that one was a good one. Um, I have a couple exercises. I'm gonna turn the camera off, towel off, get a drink, and I have a couple that I want to show because they're coming up in in one of the previous or one of the next videos. Um, my, I haven't been on because. We just switched over, if you haven't noticed, it's not myworkouthelp.com anymore, it's my crazy workout. We thought that fit better, my crazy workout, because that's pretty much what it is every day when I do them. Um, I have a Facebook page, also my crazy workout, so you can go there, you can leave comments, you can um, contact me, you can do it through the blog, or you can do it on Facebook, just friend me on Facebook at my crazy workout, that's the page, uh, everything will link up to there as well, uh, and then I'm going to shoot the other videos so that you get an idea of what they are and you can play with them before I do the next video, I have like 
four of them that I've been playing around with that I really like. So I've got to get them videotaped and up and running. So uh, look for them. But I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot them next. The uh, tutorials. Okay. Have a good day.